Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're having an awesome week. My name is Natalie. If you're new here, I make nursing videos every week. And if you've seen one of my videos before, then welcome back. So as you can tell from the title today, we're gonna to be talking about whether or not someone is too old to become a nurse. And for me, in my opinion, the short answer is no. No one is too old to become a nurse, especially if you have the drive and the um, determination and you've always wanted to be a nurse. I don't think if you're 20 to 60 to 70, 40, whatever it is, I don't personally think anyone is too old to be a nurse. However, what I will say is that sometimes, I guess the older you are, maybe you're concerned with different conditions, maybe you haven't been to school in a really long time and you're worried, can I do the workload? Or you're worried maybe, can I stand for that long during clinical? So I'm gonna talk about certain aspects that to me don't have to do necessarily with the age you are or the physical number, but maybe that has more to do with conditions. So we're gonna go ahead and go into that. So I'm in my 20s, so I can't obviously talk for or speak for anyone that is older than me. I can only speak for someone that is my age or younger. So I'm just going off of assumptions. Um, so when I hear someone ask if they're too old to become a nurse, I'm assuming certain things in my head. One, I'm assuming maybe you haven't been to school in a long time and you're really not sure if you can handle the workload or you think that it might be too hard or you're competing with um, you know, people younger than you. So that's one thing I'm assuming. Two, I'm assuming that if you are older, that maybe you have a family or you are a wife or a husband or you have your mother or father and you have a lot of responsibilities and it might be hard to juggle that. So that's another assumption. Um, another thing that I'm assuming is that can I handle clinical? Can I stand for that long? Can I move around patients? Whatever it is. So th that's kind of what I'm assuming when someone asks if they're too old to become a nurse because again, I do not think it has anything to do with age, whether you're 45, 25, whatever, but I think it kind of has more to do with maybe a lifestyle or certain conditions. So we're going to go ahead and get into that. So the first thing I want to talk about is whether or not you can handle the workload. For the most part, a lot of people that maybe haven't been to school in a long time, they do exceptionally well because they kind of take it more seriously. Um, the cohort that I had, we were all really um, rooting for each other. We had a lot of support systems. I had a lot of people that had kids and responsibilities and like kicked butt when they were in nursing school. So I really don't think it's a matter of whether or not you can do it. If you have the time, the determination, um, you know, just the willingness to put in the work, you will be able to do it. But um, that also comes with a sacrifice because you are sacrificing a lot of your time when you're in nursing school. Um, it's not as free flow as you may think. So if you are a mother or a father or you have a family, um, just take into consideration that you might not you know, be able to cook every single meal. You may need to miss certain events or things like that. So if you are willing to do that, um, I think you should definitely go for it. But if it's something that you're not really sure whether or not you want to sacrifice, say, at this time, I would definitely hold off and think about it a little bit more. Now, with regards to clinical, um, depending on what school you're in, you might have a night shift clinical experience. You may have day shift. Um, it really kind of depends on the availability, but that's just something to keep in mind. If you do have a family or other um, you know, stuff that you need to attend to and you're not sure if you're going to be able to uh, have a night, sh can do a night shift or a day shift, that could be something you talk about to your school with because they probably can work with you. But just keep that in mind that if that's not something that you can commit to, also, you know, take a moment to see. Um, also, you're going to have to stand a lot. Usually it's 12 hour shifts. Um, so if you physically cannot stand for that long, that's something, again, think about. Um, sometimes you have to do heavy lifting with patients, you have to multitask a lot, you have to walk around a lot, run around a lot, you know, you have to kind of be really quick and available and be a good multitasker and everything. So if that's something that you feel like you can't do or you maybe have a certain condition where you can't, you know, physically it's uh, taxing to do certain things, I would definitely take a moment and really think about it. So if you haven't been to school you know in a long time and you're worried oh my gosh this is gonna be so hard you know am i gonna be able to study and do all that stuff i feel like if you were a really really good student before that just doesn't go away you know what i mean like even though things might be different you can still incorporate what you've 
known and how you've studied in the past to doing it now. Um, I don't think that just, you know, you just forget how to study. You just kind of go back into the mojo of it and you kind of like get back into your groove. And I think that you will be totally fine. And again, whether you feel like you're older or younger or whatever it is, the stuff is hard no matter what. Um, it was definitely difficult. It's something that you have to work for. Um, you really have to take time to study. So don't think that if you feel like you're older that you're not gonna be able to understand or remember it because honestly, like it's not the easiest thing to know no matter what age you're in. So don't let that stop you. And I also mentioned this in one of my previous videos, Life of an ABSN Student, and I'll link it up here. Um, but I talked about how we need people of all different ages of all different walks of life, not just in nursing school, but in the nursing field. You know, it, it's great to have a lot of young people going into the field and it's great and it's wonderful, but we need people of all ages. Like you guys teach us things. Oh God, this thing is falling. Okay. You guys teach us things that we can't, you know, learn until we have experience you know we might be in school we might know how to you know study more or study better or whatever it is but you guys have lived life you guys teach us a lot of wonderful things it's a collaboration when you're in nursing school we all learn from each other um it's don't think it's like a one-way street like we collaborate we learn from each other i've learned so much from people who've had families and just looking at other people who um have juggled it all I I couldn't imagine going through nursing school, having a child or having a family or having all these extra responsibilities that don't just go away. You know what I mean? Like you must take care of your kids. You must take care of your spouse. You must, um, you know, do these responsibilities. They just don't go away. So I personally couldn't imagine doing it. So I was inspired by a lot of people who were older than me um, and who did exceptionally well, taught me even how to study for different things. Like, I don't want you to think that you have nothing to bring to the table because as I talked about in that video, sorry, got cut off there. So like I was saying before that we need people of all ages. We need people of all walks of life. We're all important. We all bring something to nursing school as well as the nursing field. I'm sure there's a lot of patients that are happy to see, you know, young people, but there's a lot of patients that are there and they're happy to see someone, you know, maybe closer to their age, someone that they can relate to, someone that they can talk to, because at the end of the day, nursing is not just what did I study and how can I regurgitate it? It's making connections. It's making feel um, someone feel comfortable. And sometimes maybe someone who has a family or has been a mother knows how to be more nurturing than someone that does it. I mean, I'm not a mom. I don't know how to be a mom and I'm not going to say that I do, but watching someone who was a mom and see how nurturing they are, um, you know, you get ideas from that, but like everyone brings something to the table. So I don't want you to think because you might be older or whatever that you don't have anything to bring because honestly, sometimes you have way more to bring than someone my age would. So don't, again, don't let that stop you. So at the end of the day, I do not think personally anyone is too old or I mean, you might be too young, but too old to be a nurse. Um, if it's something that you've always wanted to do, I definitely think go for it because nursing is a great career. It is wonderful. You learn a lot of new things, things that you, you know, could not even imagine learning. You see a lot of cool things. It's just a great profession to be in. Um, it's a great experience. Clinical is really fun. It's a great experience to be in. So no, I don't think anyone is too old, but like I said before, if I guess too old would be depending on certain conditions. Now, you know, you can be 70 in the best shape of your life doing CrossFit and all this stuff, or you can be in your 30s and maybe have some physical issues that might not, you know, that might hinder you um, performing well in nursing school. So it's really not a matter of age. It's more a matter of your lifestyle, of your conditions. Is there anything that you need to take into account or think about that might stop you from doing certain things? So that's kind of what, how I feel. So again, I don't think anyone is too old, but um, if there are certain conditions or lifestyles, I would take that into consideration. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this helped. If you guys have any requests for any videos that you'd like to see, um, please leave a comment down below. I make nursing videos and put them out every single Monday. So please consider subscribing if you like nursing videos. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, afternoon, whatever it may be. Remember to always believe in yourself. And again, I am here for you guys as a resource. So if you want to reach out by email or through comments or whatever it may be, I'm here to help and I'm happy to answer all of your questions. I hope you guys have a great one. Bye.